Okay, YouTube got the uh, wire soldered there. Just there's no polarity. Just pick one and hook it up. Of the 12 volt wires to the lamp hooks to one side, one hooks to the other side. It doesn't matter because the bulb is built to run off of AC. So one thing I want to do, I plug the bulb in to the socket there, and I've got my little bench supply here, 12 volts over here, and there you go. We got light. 12.9 volts and four tenths of an amp. There's my MR16 bulb running off a of DC power. And this will soon be up in my track light, lighting up my kitchen. And you now have a 12 volt light. And what I like to do is I print out a little uh, label that I put on here, say modified for 12 volt operation just so that somebody doesn't take this light out of my house and go plug it into a 120 volt track light because that would uh, basically blow up the light bulb in about a millisecond. That's how you can modify one of these lights to run off of DC power. You, know, you might do that if you want to replace all your lights with a single 12 volt supply. And you, there are really fancy supplies now you can get that have you know wireless controls and dimmer capability built right into the supply. So in my case, invert that bulb to run off of solar power. It's not dimmable, but I don't care. I don't want it dimmable. This bulb were dimmable during the day, it would be brighter, and at night it would be dimmer, and it would flicker on and off as loads turned on and off the battery. The way it is, this light's very immune to uh, voltage variations in the battery. It compensates for all of that, so that makes a really nice setup for solar power. And the nice thing is, these are off the shelf. I picked these up at Home Depot but they stock 12 volt DC bulbs right in most major hardware stores. They're called MR16 low voltage track lights. So that's a really nice option for running lighting off of solar power. You don't pay a premium for 12 volt DC bulbs. They're, they're built, mass produced to run 12 volt DC. Most people don't think about these, but so I'm at 6.2 volts there, it's pulling an amp. I'm at 5.7 volts, it's pulling 1.1 amps. And now it starts, I think it'll start to dim. Yeah, I'm at 3 volts, it's pulling 1.3 amps. So it's dropping, it's only 4 watts there. You can see the, see the brightness change. So there I'm at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 15 volts. Brightness is pretty constant from about 6 volts up to 15 volts. So that's what a non-dimmable bulb will do for you. It's immune to your battery voltage going up and down. So that's why you probably want a non-dimmable bulb for solar power use. I guess you have to really decide, do you want dimmability or do you want immunity to varying battery voltages. That's kind of your two choices. So here we're at 9 volts, it's 0.62 amps. I'll go up to 12 volts, it's 0.42, so the current has dropped. If I go up to, say, 14 volts, I'm at 0.38 amps. So the higher the battery voltage, the lower the current going into this light bulb. So this light bulb basically operates like it has a boost buck converter built into it. It actually has a little capacitor type charge pump. Yeah, so there we go. I'm all ready to put this thing back together. I just have to stuff all these wires in and take my two little screws out. This thing just drops right back in there. Well, I've converted all six of mine. I had, I think, two of my other lights were dead. This one was dead, and then I converted the others. Oh, I still got to do the heat shrink. I better do that first. But yeah, anyway, this just packs into there with the two little screws. I'll get the heat shrink applied. 